Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 1.6 in the Historical Investigation Unit where we were doing part 2 of the outline of our essay. So by the end of our lesson today you should be able to produce a completed outline of the Historical Investigation. So again that is a completed outline at the end of this particular lesson today. Just a few reminders for you as you're working. By now you should have your outline partially completed. You should already have the outline for your thesis paragraph, the counterclaim paragraph, and probably most of your uh, second body paragraph done at this point. So if you're not, you're a little bit behind, so make sure you get yourself, uh, catch, catch yourself up, and then you'll be good to go. But catch yourself up, and this should be where you are at this point. So what should you be doing now? First, the biggest reminder that you have, it is here in red, have your completed outline ready to go by the end of this lesson. Completed outline. Okay, you should have all five paragraphs outlined using the outline uh, provided in your workbook. This should be bullet points. Do not use sentences, you know, in any capacity. Just do bullet points. Don't stress yourself out at this point. Just do bullet points for this outline. The outline should be easy. And then look at your outline to make sure you have enough credible sources for your essay. If you notice any weaknesses, if you look at it and you're like, hmm, if you're a little confused, have a colleague look at it. You know, three before me. Always remember that. Three before me. Have a colleague look at it. And then if you or if the three of you look at it and think there are any weaknesses, then now is the time to, to notice that and find other additional sources. Okay, so if you and your colleagues look at your essay, or you look at your outline and you see some kind of discrepancy or something there, now is the time to notice it. Now is the time to go ahead and find sources to fill in those gaps. So this lesson has concluded. We are done with part two. So have you produced your completed outline for the historical investigation? And do you have all five paragraphs properly outlined? Of course, the answer is no, because you just listened to this lesson. So get yourself into work and you should have this outline completed by the end of the day. Um, so work on 1.6. You cannot move forward until your outline has been approved. So this stop sign really actually does mean something. You cannot go on to 1.7 until you have completed and I have approved your outline for 1.6, okay? So get that done, get it approved so you can move on to 1.7. Thanks so much for your attention. Have a great day.